obviously with everybody picking up from where they left off last year from a defensive standpoint, how much do you think that benefits you guys? And it, or, or do you feel like you've been able to take the defense to the next level? I think with going in with a, pretty much the same defense for the third year, uh, I think it plays has huge dividends in just being able to, we've built kind of chemistry and connection with each other that kind of goes beyond the field, which is huge. And we just all genuinely love playing with each other. And just, it's more than just football, I think. And that goes a long way. We have fun. Like I said, we stay communicating. We're always on the same page. And I think that chemistry at the end of the day goes a long way. What, what leads to that better communication? What, it just knowing each other? Knowing each other and I would say just kind of going through the, the ebbs and flows of football. You know, good stuff happens obviously, but adversity hits every, every game, every practice. And you kind of get to know people, how they handle good situations and also how they handle bad situations. So being through the ups and downs, I think is really, you know, kind of combined us together. Brandon, what's the next step for you in your evolution as an NFL safety? Um, I'm trying to grow in every part of my game. I think I got a lot, a lot to work on, whether it's man coverage, blitzing, you know, being more of a vocal leader. Um, I never think in, in a game like football, you can never be too prepared and never do too much. So any way I can grow my game, I'm, I'm attacking it. A lot of it, I'm sorry, quick follow up. A lot of your splash plays in your first two seasons were like <coughs> blitzing. Do you, you don't want to, you get the feeling maybe you're pigeonholed as that type of player and looking for more maybe? Yeah, I don't necessarily think that, you know, I'm identified as just a blitzing safety, especially with the amount of stuff that they have me doing on defense, playing in multiple different positions. Um, my goal is to obviously kind of branch away from being labeled as this guy can only blitz, this guy can't cover, this guy can't do this, can't do that. Um, just trying to be and find the best way for me that I could be a well-rounded football player. <clears throat> Yeah, me and Javon kind of, it, it's strange because when he first got here, we just kind of connected, which is kind of weird. But uh, just from, we always sit in the back, we're always communicating, we're always aware of kind of what happens, what's going to happen if this guy moves, what we got to get in and out of, and showing different schemes and different, he's down, I'm down, just being able to be multiple and do a lot of different things. Um, I don't know, that, that relationship that we kind of made early on has definitely showed itself off the field, and we've become really good friends, obviously, and just that trust factor in each other. How does his game kind of free you up to do more? I mean, both of you guys obviously versatile players, but how does his position on the field help you do more? Man, I would – the biggest example for me is just any instances where I'm in man coverage. I think knowing he can go from literally red line to red line, uh, just his speed, just his ball skills, um, I know – He's always going to be there, you know, whenever he's needed to be somewhere, if he's a middle of the field safety, if he's a, you know, the cover, cover three safety, the half safety, whatever it is, he's always going to be there. And I think having that confidence and knowing and having that trust in him, you know, gives the ability for a lot of people to be able to play fast. Your Brandon, DB's coaches are all new this year, Stephen Gregory, uh, Pastor Tan, Sam Madison. How has that impact kind of been felt in that room so far? Oh, it's been great. And just having that knowledge and experience is always huge. I've always found that, you know, Having coaches that have been in your shoes before, have played in a, a, um, a similar system as, you know, Steve um, playing with the Patriots and, and all that stuff. Just having that, I think, goes a long way and you are easily can, can take what he says and know that he was in your shoes at one point and it's easy to relate to. Brandon, speaking of connections, just the connection that you guys have with Mike McDaniel. Um, everybody you talk to say he's a player's coach, you guys will run through a wall for him. He's kind of a hip coach, too. I mean, I got called out for saying, you know, social media. But just the fact that the things that he does that are just a little different and unique in the way he goes about his business. Yeah, I think it makes him makes him unique for sure. And it's, from my coaching experience, it's a lot different than what I've had as a coach. But he's also just super positive. And my, the biggest thing I take from him is when we're in team meetings and stuff and he's explaining just the offense. You can just really dial in and he's not meaning to – teach like football to the defensive players when he's explaining offensive stuff but he says it in a way that it's 
very easy for a, for a defensive player to understand what's going on and just kind of gives you a bigger picture of, you know, how stuff correlates and how stuff works on the offense and defense. But um, he's been a really good coach. Obviously, I, I've, I've loved from what I've seen so far, and, and I know he's going to be able to take us to the next step.